No, morning. Did you have any updates on some of the injuries that your guys sustained yesterday, like Robert Hainsey? One? Not at this time. I know he got a sore hamstring. We'll see how sore. Is he undergoing an MRI or anything like that today? Not yet, no. Or is there other plans for that? Or? It could be. If it's, if it's a work bad, it could be. Is there any chance um, you, know, you could get a very famous center back that's been out there? <laughs> I'll give you the same answers last week. Uh, status quo, he's working hard, and, you know, we like window, to see him out there, but we'll see. The window's starting to close. The window's starting to close this week, so we'll see where we're at. In terms of getting through without injuries, we, we knew about Neil, we knew obviously about Hainsey, uh, and no other injuries to, to kind of speak of in terms of guys that, that got dinged up walking around for years. No. So you know you're playing the Dallas Cowboys. Yes. Um, not probably a surprise. It looked like that was going to be it along. But so what are your thoughts about it's been you know, week one? It's a long time ago. How have they changed? How has your team changed from, from that game? No, we're changed. We are a different team. You know, I can't speak for them yet. I haven't dove into the film, getting in to watch them. But you know, they're talented, and you watch some highlights here and there. They got talent all over the field. From our standpoint, I think we're mentally tougher. We're into the grind of the season, so to speak, and everybody kind of knows their roles have kind of panned out since week one. So we'll watch some tape and we'll get to work on them. When you say that week one win, is that is that the most complete win your team has had this season? I don't think so. I mean, we've had some wins. I don't think it was complete because we had some things go wrong in that game. So, you know, it wasn't complete. I don't know if we played a complete game yet. You guys kind of got off to a slow start in that game, too, offensively, if I remember correctly. It, it wasn't until the second half that you scored. Um, we talked about this yesterday a little bit, but just feel better about kind of the fact that your offense late in the season yesterday w was able to get a touchdown on the board early in the game after kind of some slow starts throughout the year. Well, they got off to a fast start, which was good, important. We need to get a fast start this week as well. So that'll be key to the game as well. Todd, obviously, um, for people that saw the Cowboys game, Yesterday, like they weren't firing on all cylinders, and, and it's probably not the performance they want going into the postseason. When you look at them and look at that game, um, what concerns you? Like, what what are they still doing well? Maybe that like doesn't show up on what we would have seen just watching the game yesterday. Well, they have a swarming defense. We know that they have ball hawks in the secondary. They can get to the passer as well. Uh, Mike is not the only one. Offensively, they're healthier on the offensive line. They can run the ball very well. Obviously, they got talent on the outside and in the backfield, and they have a great quarterback. So, you know, everything concerns you when you play the Cowboys. You got to play a complete game. Mike hasn't done a lot statistically lately, but obviously, he's an elite player. What are you impressed most about him? His effort and his tenacity. You know, you don't you don't have to necessarily sack the quarterback when you're creating opportunities for others and making others better. I think he does that as well as create his own opportunities. A lot of folks have kind of looked at your season and thought, I don't know, maybe at the Baltimore game, um, that loss at home, um, thought maybe you guys would start nailing it in. I think a lot of teams would have. Just what can you say about your team, the fact that, you know, you didn't let some of those low points define you and, and you still found a way to, to get to the postseason? A lot of injuries, some setbacks. Those guys are resilient. They didn't blink, you know. You know, we didn't blink. The guys didn't blink. They hung together. They stayed together. They knew what they had to do, and you know, we kind of dug ourselves out of it. What about Tom specifically? You know, that seemed like that was that game was a low point for him, and, and we obviously talked about what happened the next day with the divorce and everything. The fact that he hung in there and, and you know was able to deliver some some pretty darn good performances late in the season to, to get you guys where you are. Again, Tom's tough. He's been around for a long time. There's not a lot he hasn't seen or been through. I don't think every day of his career has been a great day. You know, he's had some rough days here and there, but he works through them. He's resilient. He's very tough. He loves to play the football game. Uh, he's excited to play the game every week. He let us out of a lot of things, and, you know, the team and as a whole got out of a lot of things. There are a lot of guys that dealt with things every day that didn't get brought to the light, but as a whole, we hung together and came through it. I think Winfield played the whole game yesterday. Probably not an ideal situation. Was that just out of necessity? He's we were out of bodies. <laughs> we were out of bodies, so he had to go. We had four guys. We had to put a D lineman back there if he would have got out. Oh, <laughs> Logistically, I know a Monday wild card is a relatively new challenge, but will you 
have like a walk through Wednesday and then start normal prep Thursday, or how, how will you go about this week? Uh, Wednesday will be a walk through, then Thursday will be like a Wednesday. We'll go through the week that way. I know you you want to be balanced. Every team talks about it, and yet you guys average less than I think eighty yards a game rushing this year, which is you know, for a team to make the playoffs almost never happens. So now that you're here, are you, are you just going to have to ride your quarterback? You're just going to have to. It's going to be the passing game that'll do it, or you know, when you get and you have to play up north, maybe if you advance past this game, do you, do you still think you can get run it well enough? Um, you know, to, to take some of the pressure off the passing game. When you get to the playoffs. You try to win any way possible. You know, if we can recover ten fumbles and score that way, so be it. Yeah. If we have to throw it, so be it. If we have to run it, so be it. You don't worry about balance so much as playoffs and. Yeah. People try to take certain things away, so you kind of take what they give you and try to make it work that way. Todd, what gives you the confidence? Um, I know we've heard like consistency, and we've been great in the fourth quarter, if not maybe these three quarters. Um, when you look at this whole stretch of the regular season, and it's now sort of put to bed, and you go forward, and this is a new chapter, what about this team gives you the confidence that they can really kind of turn it on right now? Again, it's resiliency and toughness. You know, we hang together. We stay in every game, even though it may not be clean all the way. We find a way to be in it at the end, and we just have to make plays at the end of a ball game. We're confident, and we understand that, so we don't feel like we're out of any ball game. Devin White said yesterday he, he kind of likes the fact that a lot of people are counting them out, counting the bucks out. And I think your offensive coordinator said some people are throwing dirt on us. Is that a good position to be in that? There's not a lot of expectations, and this is still there's still a heart of a champion in this team. You have a lot of guys that won a Super Bowl and have been to six playoff games in two years. Well, everybody has a lot of heart, you know. You know, you really can't worry about people counting you out when you lose games. They're gonna talk bad about you when you win. They're gonna talk good about you. That's part of it. You know, different guys get motivated over different things. So whatever can make you play on Sunday. That's what you try to do and play on Sunday. We know we've been in the foxhole since we got to training camp, and we're going to continue to stay in that foxhole, and we're going to fight our way out of it. Today's a difficult day for a lot of coaches around the league, right, getting let go, and, and you've been really open about kind of what that's like, um, you know, when you lost your job in New York. Just what would you say to some of those coaches out there that are maybe having to deal with this the first time, or maybe it's not the first time. You know, it's just not an easy thing to go through. It's tough, you know, every circumstance is different. I can't speak for everyone, you know, just look within, find strength from within. You, you just didn't become a bad culture. You never got the job in the first place and just go back to your roots and, you know, use it as a tool uh, going forward to, to learn and promote yourself and keep rolling. What does it take to win this time of year? What do you have to do? What do you think this team has to do to, to, to advance? There's several things. You got to play together, number one. Uh, Everybody has to understand their role, and you got to sacrifice. You got to sacrifice for your teammate. The, the health of your secondary, I know that that seems like it's been key throughout the season when you've had those really good games. It's those guys are back there and they're playing confidently. Um, and I know obviously some, several guys had the game off. Um, how do you feel about their health status going into this week? We'll see as the week goes. You know, Carlton hasn't played, Mike didn't play. Uh, we'll see as the week goes on. Like I said, it's the end of the year. Everybody's banged up. It's a matter of whether you can play or not. You know, if they can play, we'll have them out there. If they can't, the next guy's going to have to step in. Just having two extra days of rest uh, or prep time doesn't hurt in that situation. No, it doesn't. What is the third time you all play in Dallas since the start of last season and all three games have been selected for national TV prime time. What do you think it is about the fascination with Bucks Cowboys? What do you think is the allure there? Well, we got Brady, <laughs> they got Dak, <laughs> they got Jerry, they got the star. You know, we've won the past two years, so, you know, both games have been great games, so this one probably will too. What does it mean to have a home playoff game um, for your team, for the community, just, just for the atmosphere? I think for the fans, it's great to have one. Uh, obviously, we missed the COVID years that way, and we've taken quite some long trips this year, so it's good not to have to get on the plane for a week. You guys are all about stopping the run, and, and that obviously worked really well for you in, in one. Um, I know, like last year in the playoffs, for instance, you know, Matthew Stafford, that, that didn't necessarily affect him. He was still able to be effective. But can this Cowboys team function? Um, when they aren't able to, to get the, the running game going first. They can beat you a lot of ways. Run, pass, you know, defense, special teams. They, they can beat you a lot of ways, so you can't just focus on one thing. Anything else? 
Thanks. Did you get into any of those cookies, or are those going to wait until after this season? They're gone. Oh, I love it.